rising above love has won. I believe this is people who have escaped the cult or something. We're an educational group reporting news and events that happen in the group Love Has Won using short clips from the videos they upload or from other member sources. Our mission is to inspire, educate, and support all individuals impacted by the group Love Has Won and keep people up to date on what the group is doing if you don't have time to watch four plus hours of video they put out every day. I assume this is partially uh, family members and stuff of the group that are combing through this so they can keep tabs on their loved ones. It's pretty sad. Don't forget, Hannah, you still need to cover Time Cube. Oh, God, I do have to cover Time Cube. Cotton Candy says, I left to grab dinner and come back to this. And then Kirithan, thank you for gifting us up. What is Love Has Won? Well, they are a group of people who worship a woman named Amy Carlson, their god in a physical vessel. They say she loves unconditionally and only speaks 100% truth. Her followers call her Mother God and Mama Jesus, among other titles as she claims to have been Jesus, Joan of Arc, Marilyn Monroe, and many other famous people in her past lives. They also worship her partner, Jason Castillo, who they refer to as Father God or Lucifer. Their teachings say that any who do not worship Amy as God will be recycled to the galactic sun. And Honestly, that sounds great. I'll do that. Claim that Amy will soon ascend Recycle me, mommy god. Being picked up by a starship or going through a portal in the ocean. Yikes, that's very uh, heaven's gatey. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Claim that Amy will soon ascend by being picked up by a starship or going through a portal in the ocean. Have I watched the Silent Their followers Hill movie? preach that all Amy and Jason do is love, so all should follow them happily. But here are just a few clips showing what their gods are really like and how they treat their followers once they are past the honeymoon phase. Warning, viewers may find this material offensive. I commanded all my atoms to come home back in the light. In order for them to come home back in the light, they had to be fucking whores. Holy fucking shit. Um, is, is this gonna pick up Domo Origato, Mr. Roboto in the background, and DMC Amy. <laughs> Just God, getting high, hanging out on the porch, listening to Styx's most controversial album. <laughs> That's a God I can get behind. You know, I'm like, hey, Bill. For the record, I stand, Mr. Roboto. I like that album. Billion Egos? Yeah. I got this big. I got him, Robin. Oh yeah, Robin refers to Robin Williams, who she talks to often. Um, shortly after Robin Williams died, she started having visions of Robin Williams' ghost, and she thinks Robin Williams works with her as part of her team. His ghost. Woo! Fuck it, you go. mind. You're fucking done. Ball over! Spiritual ego horse done! If you're not connected to me, you're out. Thank you for your service. Connect in, done. If you're not, well, if you're not connected in, you're fucking done. She listening to the E.T. theme song in the background? She's just listening to the instrumental theme to E.T.? What the fuck? That's the craziest thing that's happened in this clip. And she's claiming to be God. Who just sits and listens to the E.T. theme song? <laughs> Look, I like John Williams. I like John Williams. But I'm not going to sit there and be like, oh, you know what slaps? Fucking E.T. soundtrack. <laughs> this woman is on a whole lot of something. She sure is. You all bitches. No go home. No E.T. go home for you, bitch whores. Fucking battle me. Okay, it's, it's, it's... <laughs> I can battle her. I can battle a mummy. I'm like 90% sure I could win in a fight against a dry, salty corpse. 
My own light workers battled me, serving love and bringing a new paradigm. You fucking dick whores. You're about to get it. This cult is basically children trying to piece their strict and alcoholic parent and blame themselves for everything. Trying to piece their strict and alcoholic mother. I'm not sure what word you're trying to say there. Daddy Sume says, okay, I feel attacked. I listen to the Imperial March and Jurassic Park themes. It's fine. <laughs> you can do that. Yes. And every one of you that went against me, you're going to get it. Thank you. My vision was chick. Oh yeah, this is, I think this is after she wanted chicken parmesan and they brought her meatballs instead for some reason. Maybe they, oh please, my bad. There we go, yeah. Pleasing your alcoholic parent, yeah. She wanted chicken parmesan and they brought her meatballs and she's pissed off. Chicken parmesan. So the fucking Adams turn around on me and get me meatballs. I agree. I, I think meatballs are superior to chicken parmesan too, but I'm not God. So, I guess I'm wrong. I didn't say meatballs. I, I didn't say meatballs. I said it was chicken. That was chicken parmesan. Bring me a chicken, okay? I don't... I'm Mother God, okay? If I say I want chicken, you're gonna give me chicken. I'll make a chicken. Boom, chicken. No meatball. You're gonna give me a... What's chicken made out of? I need some chicken. Yeah, she's drunk a lot. I love meatballs. But I didn't fucking say that! I just want your meatballs. Why are you gonna give me meatballs? Hydrate. Chicken Parmesan! I get fucked up. Every fucking moment by I believe that you are fucked up every fucking moment. I believe that. Like Max says, if she goes by God, why didn't she heal her cancer and create her own food, right? She should be like, oh, you brought me meatballs. I'll rearrange the atoms in these meatballs and turn it into Parmesan. Chicken Parmesan. But uh, I guess I, I guess that's just out of her abilities? I don't know. You fucking motherfucking whores. My atoms. I'm like... I just need a tequila. Like, it takes a... I'm curious, because we often think about cult leaders as being incredibly charismatic, which can be the case. Um, but she's so not. She's not... Char I mean, maybe initially, in fairness. She probably is very nice at first, and you don't necessarily see this part of her. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll pull up the subtitles. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you couldn't see them. Um... But how does this person continue to run a cult, considering how dysfunctional she was, to the extent that even after her death, they go ahead and continue her work? Very strange. Vontuk says, How does God ranting about meatballs not snap you out of the cult? I can think of nothing less spiritual. You haven't had good enough meatballs then. Like five rounds of whores to get me a tequila. Wait, are you fucking kidding me? You know what? You can take your half-ass god and shove it up your fucking ass! I'm gonna take another tequila shot? I'll fucking do that shit. <laughs> Daylight Reckoning says, I'm listening <laughs> to this in the background while I drive podcast style. Hannah's drunk mother god voice made me have to pull over from laughter. <laughs> it's sometimes just... Oh, God. Is someone put on the E.T. soundtrack? I'm feeling a little queasy. Ugh. Where's my chicken? I need chicken, okay? I need chicken and I need mushrooms. <laughs> Why don't people believe I'm God? Mike Mack says, Have you seen human history where it's easy to manipulate? Like Loki said, we all kneel. Bitch. Where's my tequila shot? <laughs> She definitely needs more tequila. This is Father God threatening to make a team member join John. Oh, sorry. Threatening to make a team member John a paraplegic. Well, of course, never you. Why would you ever be afraid of me? 
I don't know, Pops. I, I don't know why. either. Trust me, I have no idea. I have no idea. Because what we settled was settled. And that was for the 24 days that you put Mother through. Mm -hmm. If I thought or felt for another day that you did that to her, consciously, you would already be gone. Old enough to know better now. Thanks for gifting us up. And you still do not want to acknowledge I have an ankle bone waiting for you. In your right temple. Do you want it? No. Get the fuck over it. Because I got one waiting for the left one. And it's going to take half your body up. You're going to be a paraplegic. You're only going to have the right usage of your leg and arm if you push me on this. I'm telling you because I'm father and I love you. And I will always tell you what I'm about to do. That's how bad I am. Get it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, Daylight Reckoning. I'll Love stop. You. Love you. Get them. Okay. Mother's dying. Did you believe me before? You fucking believe me now. Ah, interesting. Love bombing. Okay. So this is a, a tactic that happens both in abusive relationships um, and in cults. They're very similar dynamics in some ways. So he'll, he'll, he'll break him down by screaming at him, threatening him, yelling at him, saying, I'm, I'm going to break your legs, I'm going to make you paraplegic, I'm going to, you know, whatever. And then immediately uh, 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 face turn and say... You know, you're the only one I can trust. You're the only one that really understands me. I love you. I'm Father God, etc., etc. It's a way of ingratiating yourself into them because they feel so bad that you're, you know, no one likes to be yelled at. No one likes to be insulted or threatened or anything. And you're incredibly desperate to get out of that situation. And all of a sudden, that person who's been threatening you, they're doing the opposite. They switch it around. And they're like, no, I love you, though. You're wonderful. And they, like, shower you with praise. And it, it, it's a little bit like the, what's the, the, it's always sunny in Philadelphia thing, the Dennis system, foster dependence, it's like that. They're fostering emotional dependence on the approval of the figureheads of the cult, like Father God, Mother God, etc. Mike Max says, this reminds me of Michael and God relationship in Supernatural, where Michael calls himself the God of sin for obey God even after God, his father, betrays him. The good son. I your your messages are hard to read sometimes. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yikes. That's um bad. <laughs> Amy, Mother God, admits it's all a lie that she is God. This is from a live stream from before her death. As you can tell from the lack of uh, her being mummified. Is she even in frame yet? Hold on. Feel every day she would you know, be like, he's not coming. He's not going to make it. Something's going to stop him from getting back to me. He's, he's not the other. He's not going to be stuck. You know, real, I'm not going to send. I'm not going to... You need to slow down. At least just proofread before you hit send. It'll save you bits. <laughs> this whole mission is fake. I'm not God. I'm crazy. I made everything up. Oh, God. So she's admitting that, what, on her deathbed, Mother God admitted it was she bullshit? Would, you know, be like, he's not coming. He's not going to make it. Something's going to stop him from getting back to me. He's, he's not the other. He's not going to be. He's not, you know, real. I'm not going to send. I'm not going to. This whole mission is fake. I'm not God. I'm crazy. I made everything up. This isn't real, you know, it's just all bullshit, and I was like, everything you say is real. Everything you're doing, I'm like, everybody's gonna know what you did. Oh my god, so, like, on her deathbed, the cult leader is even like, no, I'm lying to you, go home, this is bullshit, I'm crazy, and they're like, no, no, you're, wow, that's some Life of Brian shit, that's horrifying. My father is going to come back. And every day we just had to reassure her. I had to tell him, like, Father will be back. Father will be here. And she's like, every day, you know, you gave me, 
you know, that strength to keep going every single day through it. And after the house burned down. Um, wow. Very scary. Go out. She said she was going to be a brave god and embrace going to a restaurant. So she was excited. Obviously, if you guys saw the photos and we'll show you them when we go through the voice notes that mom got already and she went out to a restaurant for just some drinks she didn't um she didn't eat there we didn't know that um, <laughs> wait a minute mother god went and drank on an empty stomach i'm shocked she's normally so straight laced does the trump cult count as a cult i consider QAnon a cult the trump thing i don't know in some ways you could probably argue it but i'm gonna save that stuff for shot watch Jade Skywalker says, I want to watch more, but I am fading. Must go to sleep now. Love y'all. Have a good sleep. Um, so, um, I'm laughing at Ricky's comment about cinnamon buns for Robin. <laughs> um, anyways, so she did get to go out and have fun, which was awesome. Um, and then later on, a few hours later, um, not really sure how this transpired, but a being needed a ride to his boat or something and father took him and mom was left alone for probably two hours um three hours and <clears throat> you know father and mom were going back and forth you'll see on the voice notes about the time it doesn't really matter two hours three hours either way it's unacceptable that mom was left alone at all and it's because father right now is the only one in the field with mom um well, was um, Tim and Ricky, of course, have to be quarantined, and Larry was asked to not be in the field for some moments. So, when does Mother God call? Tactics to somebody. It sucked. It was very hard. Okay. Ah, oh, here she is. What? Like nobody. Hello? I drank two Mai Tais. Oh, she is fucking... If you thought she was drunk earlier, oh my goodness. Two. Two, two. Oh, look at the look she's even giving. It's like she knows. The girl on the right is like, oh god, we answered the phone when she called and she is just out of her mind drunk. <laughs> That is a look of recognition. That is not a look of someone who is deluded. This is the look of someone who's like, oh God, she's trashed again and she's calling into our live stream. Interesting. Do you think, hmm. See, I was on the page of them being true believers, but just this second, and I know it's, I'm, I'm basing this on very little evidence. I'm just speculating. I wonder if at this point, because these two, as far as I know, don't have real jobs. They just do these live streams and get donations and stuff from other people who follow the cult. At this point, I wonder if these two, who tend to be the people who do the live streams, do they know? And they're just like, well, she's gone now. Someone has to reap the benefits of this cult she's cultivated. Mm. <laughs> oh, two of my ties. I'm like, oh, these are... They're even whispering to each other. I can't understand what they're saying, but... Serious. These fuckers grab my ass like nobody's business. My tie. <laughs> my tie coming straight up my eye. I'm like, what the hell? I drank two. I was gone. My wow, she sounds a lot like my mom when she's drunk. Brain melted, and I'm like, yeah. What? What was I drinking? My tie. My tie. Oh, shit. I look at St. Germain, he's like... This is bringing back some bad shit. <laughs> Like being the kid of someone, and then this is a little akin to them being, you know, her kid, having to 
sort of nod along to the drunken nonsense. Ooh. Uncomfortable. Mike Mack says, does this count as Stockholm Syndrome? No idea. I can't help you right now. I'm like, fuck off, bitch. Uh, Robin? Robin's like, what are you, you drinking Mai Tais? I'm like, yeah. He's like, this is how you drink it. Like a coffee. I'm like, okay. So you take the straw. Hey, kitty. You drink the Mai Tai. The coffee part, whatever's. Robin told me. And then my ass was like, Gone. Did she go on for five more but minutes? In my ass, I serve love completely. I don't care. I fucking serve love! Via climbing. That's exactly what I wanted. To sit in a pool of pee. My own pee. <clears throat> Humanity. What have you done? Fuck you. I can't move. I can't move. Jesus. Robin, please. Viola. Come on. Oh my god. I can't believe this shit. Wow. That was awful, and I hated it. Uh, John Lee 3000 says, Holy crap, y'all, I made it. Just over 1,100 miles and 17 hours and change. You've been the best company for these past few hours I could have asked for. Thanks for being awesome, and may God have mercy on those poor souls. I'll try to catch another stream soon, but now I'm going to crash super hard. If you want to hear some mid-tier electronic pop punk that might have been cool in the 2000s, check out my YouTube channel, Coolio. Glad you got home safe. Enjoy a well-needed rest. Chaotic Kitten says, sounds like she's having a breakdown. Yeah, she probably was. I mean, yeah. <laughs> and then there was a bunny cleanse. Oh, that is a cute bun. Let's see if there's maybe one more of these, preferably one where she's not absolutely trashed, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how uh, possible that is. Here's a rant from Hawaii when they lived there. Cult video maybe to watch later. Okay. I'll at the very least save it, because we're coming kind of near the end, but I'll save it in my cult playlist. Thank you. Take me down tonight. This is terrible. You are in fucking treason on this planet. This is my planet. Your step, I don't know. She's always drunk, that's her secret. My family. Yeah. Feels like it. Who birthed me into this fucking reality of illusion. Step forward. You are in fucking treason for all of humanity. And if you don't, uh-uh. 80 of Blue, thanks for subscribing for six months. And kicking off the hype train. Thank you, God. Because I am God! Get it? I attempted to reach out to you to tell you who I was. You fucking denied me! Every fucking time! He's the one that stood up for me. As you fucking whores, treason around me, lying! Oh my. And. Oh. Yikes. We'll look more into this cult another time. 